are right now at the Marthoma Church. Just quick notes to capture the um, surface materials. So starting from the main uh, stage, uh, we have marble on the floor, we have curtain, uh, and we have gypsum over here. Then we have concrete, plaster painted on concrete. We have marble all around, as you can see, and we can show you down on the floor. There's clear marble, and this concrete goes all the way. I'm assuming that that is also gypsum or false ceiling up there. You see up there, there is false ceiling, and those grills at, on top, they seem to be some loudspeakers at the back, but we don't know what they are. This is again our uh, wood. Uh, all the benches are made of wood, then we have lots of glass over there. Up there on the balcony, under balcony is again gypsum and uh, some sort of um, low um, acoustic tile maybe? Some, something yeah, like some that. Sort of, uh, yeah. yeah, and... The uh, is gypsum and in between the, those are acoustic tiles. Yeah. And uh, front I think is concrete again. Yeah, okay. So uh, Anandia will just walk you through what we were doing. 60 of uh, this acoustic, uh, what we have done is we have used a, a control space uh, processor and along with that we have connected a 64 and uh, we have uh, run bursts of pink noise uh, to the amplifiers and through the amplifiers we are feeding to three eight two twos uh, that you will see there. To uh, excite the, this acoustic we have used three eight two twos there and uh, uh, it's firing in three different directions, one to the top and uh, one to the left and the right. This is just, uh, this doesn't have any other significance but just to uh, excite the whole uh, place properly. And we also have a MB24 subwoofer to provide the low, low frequencies. And uh, we are using the uh, A22s in high frequency mode and the MB24 for the lower frequencies. For MB24 we are using it is in, uh, in discrete mode and we are running from this amplifier one, this QSC uh, ISA 800 Ti. We are running it in bridged mode. I think this is uh, this one, right? Which is providing 800 watts per channel. So we are running it in discrete mode. And the 802s we are powering up uh, from this amplifier down, yeah. only in high high frequency mode, HF mode. So that's about it. We're using uh, the measurement tool that we are using is the 20 echo stylizer. And we have taken uh, seven uh, different locations in this uh, place to measure uh, the uh, measure the RT60 in different uh, seven different locations. In each location, we have taken uh, as many as four measurements. So what we are doing now is that we have the NTI. It has a calibrated microphone, and uh, the way it is done is that first of all we go into the menu. Okay, and we select the range. So this range actually helps us to identify the low and the higher level of the noise area. So at this moment, as you can see, the noise is kind of moving back and forth. You can see the bars moving back and forth. So I'm going to stop now and activate this, arm this, and let it identify what the noise level of the room is for each of the frequencies in octave, one third octave band. Okay, now what we do next is that we go in here into the menu and then select the RT60 measurement page in this measurement page we go back and just arm the unit from over here and then wait for the noise burst and once the noise burst comes in you get all the measurements done here it takes various samples at various instances and then eventually averages it and gives you the complete result in about a few minutes.